original recipe, the Brunswick stew. They not set off your bait stick. Your log was your engine, and we snared our animal. Got them off the ground hey enough. Guys, to welcome back to Whitetail Bushcraft Mountain. that I haven't been in in a long time. Just kind of an improv hunt. Might do some stalking. But I don't have my tripod with me today, guys. So, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna film this, so we'll see what happens. Just playing it by ear. Well guys, didn't have any luck this morning. Went out to a buddy's property. He hadn't hunted all uh, season and it was pretty quiet around here. He had a couple deer stands, uh, tree stands I should say, and uh, a couple of huts. But I did a little bit of tracking, had some good times out in the woods. It was real quiet. Did see three does at a distance, nothing uh, that I could actually uh, get a shot at. But I came home. I might go back out this afternoon. Today is the last day of, of archery season for Ohio. Sad to say, but, you know, we play it by the rules. You know, there's our book today. We still got rabbit hunting season, so I'm hoping to gonna get some uh, video of some uh, rabbit hunting for you, and we'll cook that up out in the bush or something. But today I'm just going to... I had some... Uh, venison roast thon and I'm gonna do some uh, jerky for the trail for rabbit hunting and getting out there doing some bushcraft and stuff again now that deer season's coming to an end sad to say it just gonna use my dehydrator I still got a couple more roasts in there I did end up getting the deer this season I didn't get it all on video uh, I got a little bit of it and lost uh, some of the uh, tape but you know, I'll try to use that in another video that I was actually trying to put together for you guys. But I am cutting up some venison. This will have to soak overnight. I got a real nice venison roast. I've been cutting off some uh, the fat. You can see it's got this silver on here. I just get rid of that. Give that to the dogs. You can probably hear them walking around around here wanting to get the scraps. I'm just using martini knife. It's one of my favorite ones for cutting up the jerky at home. Out of the wild and into the kitchen again, guys. I'm just cutting this thin, thin slices and I'm going across the grain. You can go with the grain or across the grain. It all depends on how you want to do your uh, venison jerky. But I'm doing some jerky now. More trail food, guys, you know. I got a bunch of uh, beef in the freezer. That's what it's all about. Getting enough meat for the family. We got probably about 500 pounds of meat between two deers. 
I got some beef in there from the cows that we butchered and also uh, the pig. I got a half a pig in the freezer too out in the back here. But I'm going to keep going at it with this and tomorrow I'll let this soak for 24 hours and tomorrow I'll put it in the dehydrator and let you guys see how it's coming out. That's going to be nice thin slices. This is a good roast for going across the grain, but get rid of that fat. But let you see that. That's going to be some beautiful jerky. Real nice stuff. You can hear my Rottweiler over here just chomping at the bit for some of this. This is like sushi, guys. You could, to me, you could eat this raw. Actually, it ain't that bad. <laughs> I got a Rottweiler and a uh, Jack Russell, so you're gonna probably be hearing them. I'm going a little thicker on this than I probably should on these pieces. You can see you can always thin it back down. That's one of the best meat you'll ever eat, guys. Try to get as much fat off it as possible. A lot of people were asking how long does uh, jerky last out in the field. You'll probably get about three weeks out of it before it starts going rancid on you. Maybe, you know, a month. You see, that's some nice, nice meat. Alright, guys. When I uh, get this marinating, I'll get back with you. As you can see, guys, we don't let nothing go to waste. There's what's left of that roast bone. You can see my Roddy over here. She's definitely looking for a piece, and any of the fat I give to her and a little Jack Russell. That's the sushi of the wilderness. Come oh, on, guys. But, that's quite a bit of meat there. I might do some beef also, guys. But that roast gave me quite a bit of nice pieces. Real nice pieces. That's what's left. I'll scrape them little pieces off it. A little bit of meat off there yet. dogs and now we're about time to marinate a big boy all right hang in there guys all right I'm gonna give this a little bit of a dry rub doing a little something different I'm trying some of this Weber gourmet burger seasoning on it give it a little spice to it a little dry rub first give me a few of my little secrets A little bit of onion powder. Garlic powder. I like the garlic. And this is just to get a little flavoring right on it before it goes in. Then a little bit of Italian seasoning. Because that is my background, Italian-American. But for my uh, marinade that I'm going to soak it in, I'm going to use the liquid smoke, the original natural hickory flavor, soy sauce, dash of red hots, and a few family secrets. <laughs> But it's all good, guys. I use a little apple uh, cider vinegar also. Let me get this stuff marinated going, and then we'll show you what this meat looks like before it goes into mar or when it's in the marinade. Almost forgot, guys. Gotta definitely put some salt on there. And a little 
pepper. So we got a good dry base now guys. I do this a little different each time. Sometimes I stick right to my old recipe, family recipe. But I'm going to get this in the marinade now. I got my marinade ready. And I'm just going to put the, you know, you can see I still got some of the dry that I also put right into that marinade. A few secret things. But you want to get that stuff soaked. I should trim a little bit more of this fat off, I think. But I'm going to get, you guys got the general idea. And you want to let this soak at least, you know, I like to let it soak at least 24 hours. You guys have seen me do this trail food before and jerky before, but kind of a tradition. Last day of uh, hunting season, I always like to make up a batch of uh, jerky, venison jerky. Just to enjoy it on the off season. My kids, this is like crack to them, man. They go nuts over it. I gotta hide it from them so we can make it last. But I did some of the deer sticks also. Mom won't let me put that on video at this point, but I do have a little bit of them also. But we'll be doing a lot more recipes for you guys. But that's our marinade. And like I say, that's gonna sit overnight. And then when I let get this back out, I'll definitely show you how I put it in the dehydrator and let you guys see the final results of it. And we'll do the old taste test as usual. But I'll show you some uh, clips from the earlier hunt on this video. I'm sure I'll put it on the beginning of this video. And like I say, I may go back out. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I came home for lunch and to cut this up real quick. And... Like I say, we'll be back, guys, tomorrow, or if I get any more hunting scenes, I'll throw this in, you know, if I get a deer today, or before I run out of time, uh, we'll get the video back on. So I'll put this all together. Take care. I wanted to show you guys my daughter's newest pet. While I'm making a video, I figure I might as well throw this in, too. It's a Russian tortoise. pretty neat. We got a little zoo going around this house. And my daughter Grace wanted me to show you that. Her Aunt Rose and her Aunt or Uncle Bob gave her this. I think his name is Squirt. I think. That's what they named it. We're back. It's been a little over 24 hours, and this has been in the fridge, of course, marinating. I threw some onions in there also, give a little flavor to it. That's what it looks like after it's been soaking. And what I'm going to be using today is a gift from my sister a couple Christmases ago is this uh, four tray style dehydrator open country I think she got it at Dick's for me but just something different you guys seen me do it in the oven you've seen me do the uh, beef jerky out in the field but today I'm just gonna do it on this uh, dehydrator and see how it comes out and then also later on uh, we'll do another uh, series of this where we're doing it um, primitive style out in the bush I'm going to start filling up the dehydrator and plug her in. Alright, we got it all loaded up. I went ahead and threw some of the onions in there, too, since they've been marinated. We got quite a bit out of it. Four trays of it. 
And this thing, it has a rating of uh, 155 degrees for the meat. You can do vegetables the whole nine yards in this. But uh, this thing takes about 10 hours with that amount. I'm going to go ahead and plug her in and get it going. Turned her all the way up. I just wanted to show you one way. You guys can do it with a dehydrator at home. You don't have to be out in the wilderness doing it. And also, you guys don't have to use game meat like I do. You can also use beef. You know, So definitely try this out and uh, get a video of it and let me know how it comes out. But in the meantime, I'll get back to you guys to finish this video in about 10 hours. So stay tuned. Give you one last shot of some of that meat what it looks like before it's dehydrated and it'll shrink up quite a bit hang in there well guys before my kids eat all this I want to show you some of the final results they've already dug into it a little bit they come out pretty good guys Just another way to do venison jerky with the dehydrator. Thanks for all your views and support. I'll catch you on the next video.